Hey, what is up, guys? I'm back in the same spot I was in episode 11, ready to move on. So let's get a move on it. Back to the main story, I put all the secrets in. As you can see, I have this and I have the bomb shoes, plus I have the blue ring and the snowshoe ring. So, alright, what a good, what a good find, you know. <clears throat> but, first off, we're going to have it stay winter, and we're going to go back to where we were, and I'll show you the snowshoe ring right now. Look at that, no sliding on ice. No sliding on ice. So I'm going to put the blue ring back on, because that is realistically more important. And we're going to hop on this log. And now that we have fall, we can change the season to fall. As we cycle through the seasons, and look at that, fall. God. Oh my god, see, we take half damage now. And pretty sure there is a gasha thing right there. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, uh, sure, why not? Let's plant a seed there. And we are going to head to the right, and look at this. We can get in this unicorn cave now. If I can find my power bracelet. And look at that. Level 5. Unicorn's cave. Alright, so we can see you can go to the left or the right. I think I want to go to the left first. So, I did this dungeon in my playthrough, and I don't remember... I Actually, I remember a lot of it, but I don't remember every part of it. So, there's a key right there. And, you notice we don't have the switch hook in this game, but... God, dude, will you die? Thank you. So, we can head to the left. And this, this is a bitch. God, dude. I mean, who the hell decided to make a room like this? But we get the compass, and since we don't want to go back, we're just going to fall down, and we only take a quarter heart. Cause, oh, actually, we take a half heart. I lied. Go the compass so we can see where all the chests are. And we're going to head up. Actually, we cannot head up yet, so we're going to head back down to the first room. Actually, we're just going to go to the right, because this is where we would be anyways, yes. So we're going to head this way. Try to avoid those P-hats, those P-hats are annoying as all hell. Actually, I don't know if I want to go this way yet. I don't want to go this way yet, because we don't have the item, the temple of the item. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, I stole that. But, I'm sorry, I mean... Actually, I do want to go that way. God, God, dude! I hate when I go the right way, think it's the wrong way, and then I end up just being like, oh, dude, what the hell? So, you want to know something funny? I went to school today, I got there late, I got there like 15 minutes late, and I got out early. Actually, I... God, I gotta stop going the way I don't want to go. Yeah, I don't want to go this way yet. I want to go to the left. So we're going to hop back out, and we're going to hop right back in, because, you know, that's what Link does. That's what Link does. So we're in this room, actually. Um... God, actually, I don't want to go to the left. Oh my god, I just got in the completely wrong cart. So as you can see, there's some uh, spinning balls and spinning floating things along the way and I wanted to hit that. Thanks game. No, no, this is fine actually. This is fine. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this game. Oh, uh, I still got hit. We're gonna hop up here, hop up here, freak him with the okie doke. I think we're gonna go up first. Yeah, let's go up first. So there's a, I think there's a key in here. Actually, I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, this channel is all about struggles. And, you know, I'm struggling all the time. Come on! Come here! 
So we didn't need to do that. We did need to come this way, I remember that. I do remember that. So let's come to the left. I don't have a key. Whoa! Like when I said this is all about struggles, I I truly meant it. I truly meant it. I mean, once I get going here, I'll, I'll know what to do. It's just, I haven't... Great, now I'm jinxed. Now I'm jinxed, man. I think we can take these out with a, uh... I think I take at least four hits. Come on, baby. Please be a key. No. Well, now you can see it looks like a unicorn face. At least, at least we got the map out of this. At least we got the map. So we're going to go head back down the stairs really quick, and we are going to bomb those. So drop them there, drop them off, drop them off the pool. You know, whatever analogy you want that to be. You can do it. And, oh no! So we're going to want to hop on there, and we're going to want to hop over here, and then we're not going to want to do that, and then we're going to just get all shitty. And I'm going to start swinging my sword at things. And then we're going to make it over there. Alright, at least we made it that far. Alright, this puzzle, this puzzle. Whatever you do, it's the opposite over here. So we're going to want to push it so it's on the switch, and that's how you do it. So we want to get rid of this thing, because this thing is no fun. So a spin attack and a slash should take him out, and we have full health. Always a good thing. Oh, look at this. Guess where we are. We are right here now. Which is, I guess that's not a bad thing, I guess. You guess I'm saying here. I guess that's a- Oh, huge ruby. I'm thrilled. Yeah, you- Hell yeah, I'm thrilled. I am so thrilled. And so, what are we doing? Alright, we're gonna kill these squigs. And then we gotta find a way to kill this. Look at that. Let's see what this owl has to say. Let's do it a cool way. From range! Recall the order of what you slay the knights in. Alright, so. This room is a, is difficult if you don't know what you're doing. It's not difficult if you do know what you're doing. What you're gonna do is, you're going to, to kill the knights in a certain order. So I'm just going to do basic. I'm just going to do the basic order. Alright, now there's chests that appear. What you want to do is you want to open the chests in the order that you killed the knights in. So we got four number seeds and then we're going to get a small key. Yay! Small keys! I love keys! Woo! So there's nothing left to do. So we have to go back to where we... We have to... Completely backtrack to some bullshit. You know, you gotta you gotta go through some BS to do some BS and K. K game. Alright, I guess I guess bats are just unstoppable. You know, when I'm actually actually that doesn't even make sense. And I just barely make it, and I don't even get hit by that. So, the easiest thing to do there is just a suicide bomb. Actually, you don't even have to, you just drop it down there. I don't know why I did that. I don't even know why I did that. So we can come back to the right now. Squiggly, squiggly, leave me alone, squig. So now, if you remember that locked door that I found earlier that I... Actually, I don't even think I said goddamn at that time. Ah! Really? Oh my god, where's this aura ring? Alright, so now we're stuck in this room. But it's okay, you see that ball? You're going to get something that is very unique to this game, called a magne magnetic glove. And let me tell you what, this boss in this dungeon sucks because of it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take out our magnetic glove here. And we can control this ball now. Opposite. Hey, remember back in elementary school, opposites tracked. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. Trust me. So 
So what we want to do now is we want to go back to those ca that cart room. Actually, no, we don't. No, we don't. Oh, I beat it barely. What we want to do is we want to go back to where we were. Yes, we want to go back to where we were. Because we can move that magnetic ball that was in our way, if you remember the magnetic ball. Where's my... Where's my thing, man? Where's my thing? I just want to get on there. I really don't care if I take damage. I have the blue ring, so damage is nothing. Oh my... Oh my god! Oh my god. God, game. You're killing me. So we gotta do this again. I wish I had a speed up button, but I don't. I could backtrack, but what what fun is that? What fun is backtracking? Get out of here! So we get some hearts. I should have put the uh I don't know. Changing rings kinda repetitively is kind of annoying. So I don't do that. So I'm gonna move this ball here. And now we can do something cool with these things. If we look, we can take their masks off with the, I think the north one. Actually I don't think it matters actually. There's also something else that's very cool. So I want to kill a squiggly right here. Die squig! So we want a magnetic over here and we can walk around. And I think this is a key. Yeah, because there's the, there's the noise. I remember in A Link to the Past when you got the, the compass, it would tell you every time and it would just be so long and annoying on how this compass is a new feature. The tone sounds. There's a key inside the room, and it's like, dude, 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 it's the eighth dungeon. I think I know that by now. All right, so now what we gotta do here is we are going to repeatedly go through these carts. Now we can, now we can beat this room. Oh my god! Actually, I don't think it matters what what puller you have. But this is always fun. This is always fun. These things are always fun. Actually, I don't even think we need to kill him. But we get a small key out of that. So we got a... Zzz. Oh my god. Not like it matters. Not like it matters, but it would have been nice. It would have been nice just to pull it off, you know. So now we're going to head to... Really... Oh, well, that, that is, that is very awesome. That is just fan-fucking-tastic, you know. The cart is gone. So, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end this episode off here, guys. I'm gonna have to exit the dungeon and come back in. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit that like button, and we will finish the rest of the Unicorn Cave next episode. Thank you, and see you guys next time.